I'm in Accounts Payable here. Let's have a look at a Accounts Payable invoice workflow or a vendor invoice workflow. And in this particular case, how does the approver get assigned? So this is uh, based on a, a modification. You might be able to do a similar modification in your system if this is a requirement, for example. So if I go into Pending Invoices, um, I can go and create a new invoice, for example. So uh, let's pick our supplier and I can put my invoices C1 for example whatever the invoice might be now here I can specify the line detail so I'm going to assign this to a procurement category for example and let's say that it's our cleaning service um, one cleaning and it cost us $120 for example so that's essentially the details of our invoice um, but who is to approve this invoice and so if you want to get the operator to pick that approver you'll see here um, there's an option to say requested approver now in the modification that I've done I'm just using this field so that the operator for example could go and find um, someone so let's say for example they find the user Sarah and they think Sarah is the one that should approve uh, this invoice for example so I've assigned Sarah um, and then the workflow is going to pick uh, pick Sarah up so once we're ready we can hit submit and we'll submit it to the workflow. Now this is going to take a minute to run so we can see uh, the invoice in the system. So I'll just pause the video while the workflow is running. Alright, so the workflow is run. If we have a look at the history, you can see that Sarah is now assigned to approve this uh, invoice, for example. And if I go across to Sarah's workspace and we do a refresh, for example, then I can see for example down the bottom in the invoices here if I do the preview then this is our invoice C1 waiting for her approval now let's recall the workflow so just so that we can see it assigned so I'm going to recall it'll take a minute for the workflow to run and recall it then we'll change the user for example okay the workflow is run so then we don't have our workflow indicator so it's back after the recall so let's go and change this and let's say that uh, Alicia should approve so if we do a search here we can see Alicia so I'm going to assign it to Alicia and um, that's who's now assigned so I'm going to submit it so we'll submit it to the workflow and we'll pause the video while the workflow is running Okay, so there's our invoice. The workflow's run. If I have a look at the history, you'll see the cancelled was the one before, and then this is the pending one. So now this is assigned to Alicia. So again, if we go and have a look at Alicia, so I'm going to log on here as Alicia. I'll just refresh uh, her desktop here. And so we'll see, for example, in the work list, there's our invoice if we preview that. So this is the C1. So let's say, for example, she approves it. Um, so she can approve. Um, it'll take a minute for the workflow to run. So I'll just wait, pause the video. All right, workflow's run. And so it's going to go off our pending list. So now we can see that in uh, open invoices, if we search for our vendor, for example, we'll see that now it's an open invoice. Now, in this particular case, I did a modification, so that might be something that you look at. In that case, um, if you want the operator to choose who should approve this invoice. So in my accounts payable workflow, for example, if I have a look at the versions, this is the version that's active and this is just the workflow that just ran. Um, I created a new workflow provider. So if we have a look at the workflow step, in the assignment here you'll see that it's a particip participant provider and the role is vendor invoice approver and then I've created it called user selected approver so this is a modification for that particular process to work so that the user can pick the approver so 
this is something that you'd have to get a developer to do and in this particular case it's a class that needs to be created and then it needs to be linked as a participant provider. So I won't go into the details in this video of how that customization works. I'll do a follow-up to go deeper into this particular customization.